Here we are at the ITU headquarters in Geneva. It's day three, of course, of the AI for Good Global Summit. And I'm joined now by a special type of guest, an investor, Ash Fontana, Managing Director of Zeta Ventures. So you are telling me and our audience that there's money to be made in AI? Yeah, absolutely. Our belief with Zeta is that all software will change um, with the advent of intelligent systems. That is every existing category in a line of business, whether it's sales, marketing, compliance, risk, anything, and every single market, whether it's agriculture, manufacturing, um, food, energy, otherwise, <clears throat> will completely change. All the software used in those industries will change from being, you know, what we have today, which is fairly simple workflow software. A lot of the software we use today is just like a fast calculator that writes to a database, to software that helps you make a decision. And with that change, every single company, there's, there's opportunity for new vendors to emerge making intelligent software. Um, so that was our belief in starting Zeta, and um, that continues to be our belief more than ever. Um, and so we think you know, investing in those companies, organizations, communities, projects that are making this shift to intelligent software um, will be profitable for some people. And have people been receptive to your pitches? They have, yeah. Um, you know, we started the fund in 2013, and I think people thought the field was still quite small in 2013. Even though a lot of the research had really picked up by then, um, we were starting to see really good results in terms of intelligent systems that can perceive things in images or recognize um, meaning in speech, um, or at least recognize words in speech very, very well. We were starting to see it, we're starting to see consumer applications of it, but people still thought it was small. People didn't really believe it. However, just in the three years um, up to 2016, there was a huge amount of progress. And then in 2016 and 2017, there's been a huge amount of press um, in the area. So people, I think, are, are really seeing the opportunity now. Um, are you thinking about short-term investment? Are you prepared yeah. to give these companies or... AI a, a, a long goal? Yeah, I mean, our model is to spend at least uh, or around about 10 years with each of these companies. So we're certainly taking the long view. Um, that said, I think, you know, a lot of the opportunities to win uh, over incumbent systems, like non-intelligent systems, uh, are there today. Um, so a lot of our companies are already replacing the incumbents that have sort of very simple workflow software with their intelligent software today and are profiting from that. Lastly, do you buy this, that it's, um, this is fourth industrial revolution stuff? Yeah, funnily enough, um, we frame the intelligence era as the fourth generation of computing. Um, so I'll talk about that for a second and then I'll talk about industrial revolution. Um, you know, computing, we think the first generation of computing was inventing all the hardware. Um, you know, essentially fast calculators, the uh, integrated circuits in silicon, 70s and 80s. Then that became a bit of a commodity. It became pretty well known how to make those circuits um, and they were producing very high volume. So the value to be added in technology, in the technology industry, was in making software. You know, encoding a real world workflow into a piece of software. Microsoft was the big company of that area, era. Then with the advent of the internet, we got to what we thought, think is the third era of technology and computing, which is interconnected computing. So the internet, cloud-based systems, that sort of stuff. Now, today, it's pretty easy to build a cloud-based system and access you know, that cloud infrastructure through Amazon, Google, Microsoft, etc. And really where the value is being added in the use of technology, um, fundamental use of technology, is in how it helps you make a decision by analyzing huge volumes of data and then presenting that back to you, or creating an autonomous agent that can infer or learn from huge volumes of data. So we frame the intelligence era as the fourth era of computing. Um, you know, taken even more broadly in that, than that, uh, we do think it is, you know, analogies to the industrial revolution are quite useful um, for a number of reasons. You know, the obvious one is uh, the way that labor replacement can happen. Industrial revolution was machines replacing physical labor. Um, the intelligence revolution is machines replacing um, mental labor, um, decision making and higher order uh, functions of human beings. Um, so that's one obvious analogy. Uh, and certainly the, the policy and the ethical issues involved with that are very important, but also the opportunities that that presents us are very important. 
Um, and secondly, you know, it's fundamentally a machine revolution. Um, so uh, the machines are what's driving this shift. Okay, great. So basically, Ash, if you're a startup out there with great AI, AI ideas and mm -hmm. you're looking for a bit of money, come and see this guy. He may be able <laughs> to give you, write you a little check there to keep you going. And he's giving you 10 years to get your idea off the ground. You can't get better than that. <laughs> Ash Fontaine, Fontana, thanks very much. You're with uh, Z Adventures. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you, Chris. Thank you.